But I also have the special guest with us, with us in the studio. But while we are doing, while in the spirit of celebration, we must also talk about the appreciation of Naira. It's becoming uh, something that a lot of people are happy about. But unfortunately, uh, the price of food store and uh, food stuff and also uh, cost of transportation remains the same. And joining me this morning is Reverend Amoye. It's a pleasure to have you this morning. The pleasure is mine. Uh, good morning. We are in the spirit of, the spirit of celebration. Yes, so we have I have to say a thing or two. Uh, uh, yeah. I want to congratulate ITV on its 27th uh, yeah, anniversary. anniversary. I mm -hmm. am praying that the golden years are still ahead for ITV mm -hmm. and not uh, behind it already. Yeah. I also, as one of the persons that have been a follower of the TV when it came to Abuja newly, it was a very sweet relief. Uh, we had a dichotomy kind of system before, and then we had a try with ITV coming and bringing a new twist, and we really appreciate that. And God bless ITV. Yeah, thank you so much for that. But quickly, let's get into the nitty gritty area right? because we don't have much time on our hands. Exactly. The, uh, there's appreciation. In, 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 right. We never appreciation, but fortunately, the price of things remains the same. Yes. What's your take on this? Uh, there are quite a few factors that we must put into consideration when looking at this subject of the, appre uh, the uh, appreciation of the Naira, the value of the Naira as compared to the dollar. However, we should remember that a lot of those that bought products and uh, especially products, the law of supply and demand has to take its course. Hmm. Some of them have these things still in the stock in their warehouses. Some of them also are have are bought them at very high prices, so they need to sell them off. So the prices will be stable for a while. And then the dynamics of logistics in Nigeria, that's transportation. It's really the cost and mix of dynamics of uh, transportation dynamics in Nigeria is very terrible. But basically we have only trucks. There are no trains, there are no other avenues whereby goods can be moved from one place to the other coupled with bad roads and other things we already know that the prices will be stable at high until such things begin to get lower the nature of inflation in nigeria also is a matter of concentration in the sense that we discover you discover that the prices normally will start rising with transportation costs mm -hmm. no thanks to the announcement of the removal of, of, of the the here. Yeah, so it, it, it spread out from there and then it had affected every other thing i have this theory i call the roundabout theory when you mm -hmm. get into uh, an intersection or like a roundabout as we used to call it around here you've discovered that when one of the tributary gets stuck eventually the whole tributaries will get stuck and that's where we are now yes transportation started it but the price increase and inflation have affected every other aspect hmm. of business and commercial activities around it will take a while for the decongestion to happen so if we are waiting to see an immediate uh, reduction in price because of the uh, value appreciation of the Naira, it will take a while. I don't see it happening today, tomorrow, but with, within a few months, most likely. The rise also in the value of currencies within our neighboring countries is also a problem for us. Because now many of our commodities are having alternative markets where they may be willing to pay higher prices, not because the uh, currency went up, but because ours kind of depreciated uh, astronomically over a short period of time. So many of our commodities are cheaper for them to buy. Thank God, or uh, should I say, thank some of the state governors mm. around that stopped the, the export of grains through their borders mm. and others, and then things like that. But however, we should know that this would be a problem. So manufacturers and sellers have alternative markets that are willing to maybe pay a little higher because their currency are strong, is stronger than we'll be willing to pay here. And so that will also float the prices for a while, I think. Then the, the other factor I, I look at is the human factor. Yeah. The fear of tomorrow, and especially the infamous instability in our policies and currency in Nigeria. Yeah. It, is, it is very terrible. There is no well-thinking uh, manufacturer that will say, because the currency dropped a few decimals, just a few weeks, I should mm. just jump, you know, mm. drop my prices overnight. Yeah. He wants to be sure that it will be carried through. And that's the, that's the major source of worry for me. And Nigerians are also still scared. Exactly. About this for uh, appreciation, exactly. whether it's only for it's only for a short yeah, period of time. Well, so good, people yeah. are still careful about that. About it, yeah. it take, how long will it take for people to have trust that this is really happening and it's going to come down? Now that is a major blow below the belt for leadership in Nigeria mm. because we have the inconsistency have taken so long that sorry to borrow your own words mm. it will still take a similar period of time mm. to for people to, for us to gain the confidence of the people so that they can now take decisions based on the outcome of our own decisions <coughs> as leaders now that is a very ma a major problem that we need to uh, we need to actually face as leaders 
And whether in governance, whether wherever you are as a leader, you must build confidence and people can have confidence in the policies you raise that you not sleep this morning, come up with a policy and tomorrow you just wake up and say, you know, let me, uh, you know, let's just throw that in the, in the trash can. And I come up with another policy. policy. So exactly. certain policies exactly. are there. Does so not also put implicit trust in the, system. in the system. So even when you come with a new policy that seems to be working, people are still apprehensive that let them not wake up tomorrow and you have changed that policy again. Well, 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 I must say big thank you to you this morning. I know time now you're going to add, you could have taken more. Mm -hmm. But hopefully you can add another day because I must hand over back to the business of today. Because I don't want to miss the cutting of the cake. And there's so many people out there they also want to miss this part. Hopefully you have another day you can talk extensively on this issue. And hopefully maybe the right time, then I will do it on the Naira Naira. Or maybe 200 Naira. Naira. Okay. I'm back to some of you guys here at our business talk studio. Uh, to, uh, uh, the cutting of the cake is what we are all looking forward to and also to wrap up the program from our beginning network to you.